there's no script here. I'm just, I'm just really excited. They gave us three buckets. They, they gave us three buckets. The Blah Blah Bar Deco, the Neo Sloshing Machine, and the Dreadbinger. A, a brand new bucket? I'll be real, I wasn't expecting a brand new bucket. The bucket class got the most, I would say, out of Splatoon 2, with the Blah Blah Bar and the Explo both, like, taking spots that other weapon classes could get. But I, I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. One of them is gonna at least have a fun kit that I'll really enjoy. Joy. I'm still gunning for Autobomb Whale Machine. I, I really just want a machine kit where I can just spam away and then when I run out of ink, I could whale again. Please, please, we, we almost had it at the start of the game. It's not too late. There's so much going on here. When the trailer started, I was really scared. I, <laughs> I thought that we were gonna get salt spray. I was like, there's no way. But they didn't do it, they didn't do it. We're all good in the neighborhood. Instead of getting a brand new, like, returning map, we just got two actual brand new maps. And these maps go in what feels like a really good direction. They both seem like they're a little bit cramped still. Like, the, the one with the grates, especially the crab one, that one looks like it's a little bit cramped. But you know what it looks really good for? Um, sloshers. <laughs> also, I was kind of right. I've wanted a janitor bucket style bucket for like the longest time and they did it. They, they did it. They gave it to me. They, they did it. It's not exactly a janitor bucket, but it has a little, little mop ringer and everything. Feels good. Feels good, man. I think a little too much resources might have gone to the let's change people's hat and shirt thing. <laughs> it seems like it's gonna work for quite a few hats and quite a few shirts. Hear me out though. If they want to add some old gear back to the game, some old recolors maybe, or gear that was taken out for various purposes, it would just be a shame if this particular jacket could become my particular jacket. <laughs> oh, do you think like, do you think that they'll allow us to like edit our shoes? Imagine, imagine socks. Imagine longer and shorter socks on our shoes. Imagine being able to zip and unzip a jacket. Ooh. Maybe for gear that has things like scarves, bracelets, little extra random accessories, you could just take them off? I don't know. Could be a fun option. Also look at the cute little Kozuna and Harabara's cards. <laughs> I'm gonna use all my card bits and buy those like immediately. It also gives us a look into what weapons we should be getting for the season. It should be the custom Gootuber, the Sloshing Machine Neo, that new Splatling, the heavy edit, which is gonna be a pain. I can't wait to be like, oh, there's a heavy over there. And if they have two heavy Splatlings, um. <laughs> the Dread Ringer, the new bucket, the Octobrush Nouveau, the Gold Dynamo Roller, finally out of the grave. We have the Dry Stringer, the Blah Blah Bur Deco, the Sorella Blah, and I, I think I think the last one was the Ballpoint? Yeah, 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 it was the Ballpoint. People on Twitter are like desperately trying to put the pieces together to figure out what the weapons have. And all I know is that the new Slosher has a bomb, probably, unless it randomly has Splash Wall. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be really fun. It would be kind of funny if it has Wall, but I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. I hope that GooTuber has some very obnoxious over-the-top kit again. Do it, let's give it inkjet, please. In my Fizzle Season video, I joked around about them bringing back Lost Outpost, but instead they brought back Salmon and Smokeyard, which is my least favorite <laughs> Salmon Run map, but I, I guess we'll take it now, smile. We have more options to reach across with stuff like Crab and Tri Strike, but like, you're really gonna have to use it. Imagine a fish stick on the other side, crying. Splatoon and I kind of dropped the ball with showing pictures related to the update when it came to Big Run. Splatoon JP showed off that it's going to be on Umami Ruins, which is actually a pretty interesting pick for Big Run. It's circular enough, gotta think of like, I don't know, Sockeye for example here, where it could work out pretty well actually as a Big Run map. You'll have more than one path to take so you won't feel like you're getting cramped in the same way that we kind of did on Undertow Spillway. I feel like this will be a better Big Run map. They're also hiding something. They're hiding something. Come on. Come on. You know there's gotta be a new King Sam in it. It's not too late. I see your goofy little helicopter silly little trophy there. Give us more. You can do it. Speaking of hiding more things in general, it's very obvious that they're holding off the catalog for later. Nintendo needs other stuff to be able to tweet for the next like 10, 12 days. So we'll probably see more about the catalog in a future tweet. Ugh, I really, I, I 
want to know if they added on that specialized Rainmaker challenge, like, into the trailer after Splatoon and I accidentally told everybody about it. <laughs> Like, I, I wonder if it was already there as a part of the trailer. I, I want to know still what happened. That's the second time Splatoon NA has, like, leaked news like that. Honestly, I'm feeling really good about this season. Even if we don't have too much that's brand new right now, it feels like we're moving in a good direction for the game. I also can be easily entertained for, like, the next three months just playing the three new buckets and all the other buckets, so I'm happy. It's pretty obvious that they're gonna drop something else probably during the Direct that comes up in September. Nintendo is very, very, very good and very consistent at doing a September Direct. I won't be surprised if the side order stuff, if we're getting it this season, is hidden in there. I'm just crossing my fingers that it's not gonna be hidden in the data before like the direct drops and the leakers get it immediately. <laughs> Please no. But man, there's so much goofing to be had. So many bucket meme teams. Ooh, so much fun, honestly. GG's Nintendo. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the update. Is it enough for you? Are you happy? Do you want more? Who knows what they could post in the next 10 days. They could post more or they could just leave us with this. Who knows? Thank you for listening and I hope you have a good one. From here on out, we have two weeks left until the season ends on August 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you haven't finished your catalog, uh, chop chop! Go go! Bye!